and my machine crashed. But you can see as I pushed that up to my repository here, those files are now available for me to access or for you to access. And so you should make a clone by forking the repository in Git. You can also use this HTTP clone URL to fork it on Git because you're going to want to have two repositories. One local, just like I have my local repository over here that I was just working on, and one in GitHub that you're trying to share with other people, specifically me, for, for this class. And so, just like I work locally and then push my commits to this GitHub account, you're going to work locally and push your commits to your GitHub account. And so that type of communication is, is how we're going to work with each other. And so you need to make sure that you do that fork, create your own local repository, and um, communicate with me in that manner.